Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist and I like to try swatch and review our supplies. Today we are reviewing this uh, new set of uh, super granulation watercolor paint by Schminke. This is the Shy set. We have already swatched and reviewed another set of this uh, super granulating series called Tundra. So stay with me and uh, let's swatch this together. First of all, let's uh, open it and see what is inside. It's a small box. Um, first time I saw one of these boxes, I was a bit disappointed by the size because it's only five millimeters, sorry, five milliliters tubes. So they're very tiny tubes and uh, it's quite an expensive set. It was uh, a launch offer, so I paid uh, with a discount. But still, it's expensive, but the paint is so beautiful, I think, uh, that uh, it's worthy, but uh, let's see. What is in this uh, little box? Let's see from the outside. Here, there are swatches of the five uh, tubes. There is a yellow, uh, an olive, a green, a blue, and a gray. Content, warnings, uh, allergy, dangerous content. And uh, there is uh, in German, in English, and in French, uh, a description of this um, granulating, super granulating series. Actually, at this moment, there are eight. Volcano, Desert Shy, Deep Sea, Glacier, Galaxy, Tundra, Forest, plus Haze. I have already reviewed Tundra and I will put the link in the notes. And uh, how they reach this uh, granulating effect? They explain that they combine at least two granulating Horadam pigments. Horadam is the professional series of Schminke. So they have additional color changes. The rougher the paper, the stronger the granulating effect. Of course, on a rough paper, the, the texture gives you a stronger granulating effect. Today we are swatching on a paper that is quite smooth. So it's an acid test for this granulating effect. Let's start swatching. I'm so excited to start swatching this um, super granulation paint. Let's start with yellow. The common ingredient of all these paints uh, is PY159, which is um, quite a rare, unusual yellow. It's a pale uh, muted uh, yellow and it's produced by Kremer in Germany. I think that uh, it's only used, uh, according to handprint, it's only used by Windsor & Newton in its uh, lemon yellow dip. But uh, let's see the combination of this yellow with um, a violet, a cobalt violet U, PV62. So let's see. Maston, and then I remind you that uh, I want to water it down. I remind you that uh, this is quite a smooth paper, so it's not the best paper to try out a super granulating paint. But um, if it is a granulation, I know it will show by experience. I will add some paint in the Maston. Okay, 
It's a lovely dispersion on paper and uh, the effect is uh, quite a greenish uh, yellow. It is a beautiful uh, yellowish green and it's quite uh, evident the color separation which is the nicest feature of this super granulating paint. Can you see the yellow concentrating in some areas and a neutral color in other areas? Okay, let's go to olive, uh, the second color. This uh, olive is uh, made with the PB35, which is cerulean, and the same yellow. So this yellow I will not mention again because it's in all these series. In all these series, they have this uh, PY 159. So this is the olive. I think that the yellow already was quite a, a lovely, luminous yellowish olive green. Let's see what it gives with the cerulean. Nice dispersion on paper. Yes, it's a lovely olive green and I can see very, very well the green and the yellow alternating. Can you see? I will add some paint on my brush. Let's add more paint here. It has less flow on paper than uh, the first one. It's more difficult to dilute it, but uh, it's a lovely, lovely paint. I'm very curious to see the effect once dry. This paint is not easy to recap. Let's go to the third paint, which is green. Green is made always with the same yellow. And then it is uh, PG-18, which is Viridian. I will put some more paint this time. Viridian, which is a color that I like very much as a mixing base. This is already mixed, so it's a convenient, a convenience green. Convenience color are those colors that are already mixed, so you can use them straight from the palette. This is almost a, a grass green and uh, this must be this yellow, this unusual yellow, but can you see the color separation? It's really incredible. You can see very well the yellow separating from the green and it is a lovely, lovely effect. I think I will paint a small demo after this swatching. Then we go to the blue. I like this more and more. Here we are. A lot of blue I have used. In this paint there are three pigments and uh, it's uh, usually yellow and then we have uh, ultramarine PB29 which is uh, known for its uh, granulation qualities, properties. And then PG26, uh, which is uh, a cobalt green dark. So it's unusual, a cobalt paint with uh, ultramarine. Maybe I have put too much paint. It's a dark, uh, very dark blue. With a, it's a dark green. It is called uh, a blue, but all this set uh, has a greenish uh, undervalue, so it is uh, more bluish than the other green. The other ones are more yellowish, but uh, definitely this uh, is not a blue, 
they're all greens but uh, this is on the yellow side this is uh, these two are also yellowish but more on the um, warm uh, warm side this is a uh, cold green with uh, some obvious blue undertone and then we go to the gray which has uh, pb60 pb74 which is uh, cobalt blue deep and then they have the black uh, black in this case is uh, pbk11 pbk11 is um, black iron oxide uh, which is known for uh, its uh, granulation properties so let's uh, put some here and let's uh, swatch it let's uh, dilute it more water this is definitely a gray this is not a green i don't see any green uh, clearly coming out it is granulating but uh, now that it is wet i don't see a lot of color separation as i see in the other ones but i think that we need to wait until it dries uh, because when they dry sometimes they give some uh, unexpected uh, effects okay we have swatched uh, the five tubes and uh, we will come back when they are dry and now a little demonstration sketch Okay, so this is uh, this was a quick sketch just to demonstrate how these uh, colors mix and blend and separate and allow to achieve uh, really uh, nice color variety. I'm completely in love with this uh, paint with this uh, little set. Now let's go back to our swatches. Now that uh, our paint is dry, it's incredible the color variety that they achieve even on this uh, smooth, uh, cheap paper. And um, we have the yellow, the olive, the green, the blue and the gray. They're all on the greenish uh, side, except for the gray. The gray is a true gray. And uh, I said that there is no color separation, but uh, now that it it is dry i can see the yellow um, peeking through the gray but um, it's a lovely effect but the most stunning are actually the gray where you can see a very very clear granulation and a very very clear color separation look here for instance you can see a bright green this is the green the bright green and the yellow here also here the olive has a lovely concentration of pigment can you see the particles concentrating in some points 
and uh, the yellow has the yellow just so such a bright yellow coming out here and there same for the blue the blue is definitely blue somewhere like here and uh, somewhere you can clearly see the yellow so it's a uh, wonderful wonderful paint and um, apart from uh, apart from this uh, small sketch that i uh, have painted today you see just in five minutes with ink and watercolor look at the stunning effect that you can achieve uh, wonderful blends and uh, granulation and separation effect i think that um, it's really it was really worth buying so this paint really makes me very happy i think i will soon try new sets of these uh, super granulation series from schmink in germany thank you very much for uh, having watched the video and uh, don't hesitate to give me a thumb up and uh, like and subscribe if you appreciate my videos. Ciao from Italy and I'll see you in my next review.